There may be people who have never hobo ran a single time before, but there isn't anyone who's only hobo ran once. Hobo running is the result of users trying to find a loophole, if you will, in the system to where they can reduce the resource consumption while maintaining their income of EXP. Now, to start with explaining the back end of the code and game design as to how hobo running works, in Girls Frontline, if a doll goes into combat with zero ammo and or rations, she won't be able to do anything other than move around. She won't be able to attack or use her skills. And the resources you use to conduct combat is also used in doll and equipment construction. Meaning, if you don't stop either one or the other, you'll always be broke on resources as logistic regeneration isn't fast enough. Not to mention, if a doll is dummy linked, she'll consume more resources, but in return, she'll receive an additional 50% EXP from conducting combat and makes dummy linking essential to optimize leveling. But that creates an endless loop of dummy linking for efficient EXP game, but that also ends up in an increase of resource consumption. The solution that the community came up to this loop was to cut off supplies from specific dolls that don't contribute to the battle at all. The ideal scenario becoming where with only one doll's worth of supplies consumed, but up to three dolls worth of combat EXP is gained. By achieving this, you're cutting down four dolls worth of resource consumption while still being able to level a good amount of dolls. EXP earning is static for every mission, and if a doll is under the recommended level range, therefore under the EXP penalty threshold, she'll be able to receive combat EXP regardless of her contributions to the actual combat, thus making the end goal of hobo running to make grinding for levels resource consumption efficient while maintaining a high EXP income efficiency. Through hobo running, you'll be able to reduce your resource consumption to the limit as well as being able to earn back resources through logistics and scrapping upgrade fodder, assuming you don't have anyone to upgrade, you can basically grind 24-7. So not only can you grind all day, while still actually having net gain in resources, you even have enough resources to do construction on the side as well. This is under the assumption that you're using the right logistics to make sure you have a net gain of resources. Thus, the biggest goal a new player should set as their biggest priority is leveling their first set of dolls to the point where they can fulfill the bare minimum requirements for hobo running and set up a foundation so that they can carry the rest of their dolls to level in the future. Ironically though, leveling that first squad in early game is the hardest part of the game or you don't have that foundation set up to hobo run and you have to do everything from scratch. Now, let me walk you through the steps of hobo running. I'll be using 4-3-E as an example. For preparation, the minimum requirements are as such. You need two 4 dominant AR or rifle to act as your DPS carry. To act as your DPS carry, do know that if they are only 4 dummy linked, it's recommended to throw in dolls that can buff them accordingly while getting carried. Otherwise, a 5 dummy linked doll would probably do you better. The stronger your DPS, the less repairs you have to do for your tank. Now for your tank, you want a 4 dummy linked SMG or 3 dummy linked shotgun, or M16 with a fully upgraded 5 star Kevlar plate and it has 11 armor, and if you want cherry on top, you can give her a T4 exoskeleton fully upgraded and calibrated. After deciding on your 2 DPS and tank, choose 3 dolls of your choice that will get carried by them to get power leveled. If your DPS is a rifle, leveling handguns might be the better option for the buffs. And finally, the most important preparation step of all, turn off auto resupply for game settings. It's important, so I'll say it again. Turn off auto resupply from game settings. This is the only reason why hobo running works, and if you don't turn it off, you can't hobo run. Simple as that. Now, if you have everything I just mentioned prepared, next up is composing your squads used to hobo run. You'll need two squads. Your first squad is gonna be composed of your tank, the three passengers getting power leveled, and DPS A. Make sure to edit the formation so that the DPS gets all the buffs, 
and place a tank in tile 6 and make sure tile 3 is empty. After that, make sure you set one of the passengers as the squad leader for that sweet sweet EXP bonus. Then you take DPSB and put her in a separate squad by herself. And that's it, that's it for squad composition. Now you can start hobo running. Now if you were to hobo run 43E as the example of my choice, this is how it would go. First you start up the mission, place your solo DPS squad on the command post to the west and place your carry squad on the helipad to the east. Resupply both squads, beat the mission. Afterwards come back and re-enter the mission, swap the two DPSs from the two squads, resupply your solo DPS squad on the command post and then use the carry squad who should only have the DPS supplied and beat the mission. Afterward, you just rinse and repeat the swapping and resupplying until, well, you want to stop hobo running. Repair your tank as you see fit and that's the gist of how to hobo run. Once you get into loop properly, you're only consuming a single doll's worth of resources while still gaining a bunch from logistics, resulting in the situation where you're able to grind basically 24-7 but still end up with a net gain of resources usually. Though, as I did explain earlier, the dolls that aren't supplied can't do anything but just stand there or move around, so the requirement for the DPS and tank is being able to wipe out the enemies while trying to minimize the damage the tank will accumulate over time, because less damage accumulated equals less repairs. The most basic format for hobo running is two ARs as the DPSs and one SMG as the tank but obviously this can be changed depending on your needs and wants. Though because of this shit ton of extra work, I mean little inconvenience of swapping DPSs after every run, there are a lot of people who just say fuck it and resupply the whole squad at every run instead. Obviously, hope running is nothing more than an option towards leveling your dolls and it's not required. The only thing you do it for is for resource efficiency because you're running out of resources doing god knows what. You can choose to hobo run or not, that's more power to you. Now let me showcase the two most commonly hobo run missions, 43E and 02.
AR15 が勝負へへあじ。知らないけどあなたはまだまだよ。知らないけどあなたはまだまだよ。知らないけどあなたはまだまだよ。誰だか知らないけどあなたはまだまだよ。
ないんだからゲームオーバーこんにちはシキタンさんか知らないけどあなたはまだまだよ。行きましょう自由な世界へ